Do you want to know a secret? The Canon 5D Mark IV can film in 120 frames a second. But there is a catch. It can only do it in 720p. In the days now of 1080p and 4K, is 720p enough? Will it stand out like a sore thumb if you throw it into a 1080p or 4K edit? But don't forget, in its day, 720p was a dog's nuts. It was as good as it got. That was HD. Everyone wanted HD. So can it really be that bad? So that's why I thought I would go and film some random things, like really random things. Once in 120 frames a second, and then again in 60 frames a second, full HD, which is the highest resolution slow-mo that the 5D Mark IV can do. Before we do that, let me quickly show you how to enable the 120 frames a second. It is done like this. So all you gotta do is hit the menu button up in the top left. On the first menu, scroll across to the fourth sub-menu, down to movie recording quality, where you choose your, your normal frame rates and things. Then you go down to the high frame rate option at the bottom, and you click enable. And it just says there, you lose your autofocus and audio recording, blah, 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 blah. Click enable, and then when you go back to your movie recording screen, it will automatically be in 120 FPS. Easy as peas. So now let's just have a quick look at these clips that I've got and just see if other than the speed that they're obviously going, because the 120 frames is going to be twice as slow as the 60 frames, because 60 plus 60 is 120. But other than that, just see, can you spot any differences with things like the quality and all that kind of stuff? And just let me know in the comments down below if you can actually spot any of these differences, because I think it's pretty damn close. But yeah, have a look, see what you think. I don't know about you, but there's been only a couple of minor things that have jumped out at me and not all of them are based on 720p not being the highest resolution. The first thing is you lose autofocus, which did catch me out a couple of times. Other than that, the only other things that stood out to me is firstly the 120 frame a second video clip is compressed in camera to 30 frames a second and then you can obviously slow that down a little bit more in post to give you the full 120 frame a second slow-mo clip. I don't know how well it's come across on YouTube how you're actually seeing this once it's been compressed and sent over the internet across the globe. <laughs> globe. I've got 37 subscribers mate. One of them is my mum. Um, but how it actually looks to you, because that will probably even compress again and make the differences even harder to spot. But what I can say is when I'm editing in full quality, is you can see, that you can see that the quality isn't as sharp as 1080p. And I don't know whether that's to do with the compression or the actual resolution. I'm leaning more towards the compression, to be honest with you. The clips, fall apart a little bit easier on colour grading, so I wouldn't recommend using it for a really gnarly colour grade and changing all different bits and hues and all the rest of it. That said though, I think the differences are so minimal, so, so minimal, and especially for YouTube content, Instagram, travel films, anything like that, anything, especially any personal projects or anything that just looks cool in slow-mo that you wanna do, then 
100% use it, don't neglect it, because it, it, it is still filming super slow-mo. Don't get me wrong though, I don't think I'd be using it on a big client project or anything that was gonna go near a big screen or where a client's very specific about wanting a 4K project or something like that, because although you can upscale it, I just don't think the footage will stand up. But that said, my honest opinion is, I don't think, I don't think anyone will really notice and I think it's a brilliant feature that everyone's almost ignoring. You just assume that it films 60 frames a second, but it doesn't, that high frame rate is there. So yeah, when you get yours out, film some super slow-mo, upload it to Instagram, tag me in it at harry.base. I'd love to see what you come up with. Drop a comment down below with the differences you did or even didn't see, because it'd be really interesting to know how it's you know come across to you. And as always, if you did like this video, then why not hit the like button down below, because that really is appreciated. And if you want to see more videos just like this one and all the other epic stuff that's all building up in my brain throughout the lockdown, then why not hit the subscribe button while you're down there. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.